So welcome to the part seven of this video series. We are looking at real certification questions. These are new questions. There is a playlist which has 14 videos. This is a playlist. This is still relevant on AWS Solution Architect Associate. Please subscribe to my channel. So the method we use is we go through the questions, try to understand the story first, and then we decode the options. If you understand the concepts, the surety of passing is guaranteed. For questions 1 to 25, please refer parts 1 to 6 of this video series. Let's jump into the questions. So question number 26. So this is a big one. You may pause and read it. So like I always say, understand the story first. You have an ALB. There is a web application which is based on ECS containers. The problem statement is this application goes slow when the loads are high. So slowness is what we need to address and the solution architect is already using cloud watch. This alarm is used to scale up. Scale up means if there are three containers, it will create six, eight, ten and so on. Why? So that the system do not go slow. Now the requirement is to bring automation. You see this last line, this they need to need to bring in automation. So if you see these four options, the second piece is same. This one set up scaling to scale out ECS cluster when CPU or memory reservation is too high. This is all same. So we have to focus only on the first piece. Now using common sense, if I see A has the options are same across A, B, C, D. There is a subtle difference. A will do it when there is a timeout on A, L, B. So it cannot be on A, L, B. The automation event triggering has to be on this service and not on A, L, B because this service will say pause i am overloaded then it will give birth through new services imagine you are in a project you have a team of three members these three members you have have to say boss we are overloaded then the project manager will add more people and what is lb lb is just like your uh, in the canteen a guy who serves food this is that guy so what what he has to do with adding more people in your project here the spot of slowness is not load balancing spot of slowness is ECS because it this service is not able to handle the load with the number of containers it has that's why if I see A is doing a timeout on ALB, C is uh, sorry, B is doing an ALB CPU utilization. So A and B are rolled out. Now C is correct because it will create this scale out based on the CPU utilization of the service. This looks correct. And D is again wrong because it is again saying we will use ALB target group CPU utilization. So you don't have to do anything at ALB level. Your answer has to be something related to ECS service. So D is wrong and C is correct. Let's look at question 27. So this is the question. This is linked to a VPN. So what is the story? You have on-prem and cloud and they are talking to each other using site-to-site -site VPN connection. So users are experiencing slow connectivity because of increased traffic. So we have to increase the VPN throughput. There are four options. 
first one says to use customer gateways it is not useful in this case because it only provides information to aws about the device used here it will provide information to aws about the device used on prem so no no use it does not help to scale up so the second one says transit gateway so this is good because we are using transit gateway as well as additional vpn tunnels we are adding the benefits of transit gateway are the following easier connectivity better control improved security and flexible multicast support this is primarily used for high throughput applications such as video conferencing etc this is exactly our need here we need to increase the throughput so b is correct so this is the answer but let's still look at virtual private gateway the virtual private gateway is used for automatic failovers so how is it different from transit gateway see transit gateway it is a network transit hub that connects multiple vpcs you see here this is aws transit gateway it connects multiple vpcs it's a center and provides you more control so anytime in this scenario we will choose transit gateway over virtual private gateway because virtual private gateway it is a vpn connector on the aws side okay. it is a managed gateway endpoint for your vpc used for hybrid it connectivity now the last option says just increase the number of tunnels so that uh, will not help because you will have to uh, i mean b option b is a better option than d because it also gives you transit gateway which connects to different vpcs in as a network gives you more control and once you use transit gateway with additional vpns you are all set but if you just increase the number of tunnels and again you are facing the same problem you again have to come and increase the tunnels and this will be a iterative process you don't want to do that use a better option which is option b a combination of transit gateway and additional vpn tunnels so question 28 this is the question let us first understand the story so this is the question the story goes this way consider there is a company called intuit and so this company has a web application and this web application is residing on ec2 instances now there is a malfunction and the uh, troubleshooting says the malfunction is because of lack of swap space this swap space so what the hell is swap space so swap space is a space on hard disk simply and it's a substitute for physical memory that is when your physical memory runs short you use this space on disk so the question says so swap space is a space on the hard disk simple so if the physical memory runs out it will go to this space on the hard disk in this question the swap space is low we need to monitor this swap space these are the four options the first option suggests use cloud watch swap usage metric so i went to the documentation and tried to search for the swap usage metrics so in this documentation we have the entire list of metrics for example instance metrics this is a list of instance metrics then we have uh, cpu credit metrics this is a list i could not find swap usage metrics here so this is wrong let's see option b it says to use ec2 metadata so what is ec2 metadata used for so it collects information which can be used by applications to configure and manage the running instances see it is not used for monitoring swap space that is first second is there is nothing called swap usage metrics in cloudwatch we saw the documentation so b is wrong let's look at c c says install cloudwatch agent on all the instances you see here there are four instances we will install agents in each instance so we will install agent here 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 
and here so each instance will have agents installed so option c suggests to install agents eh? that's what we have seen and we will run a script on a set schedule that means these agents on a particular schedule will send the data to cloudwatch now my understanding is this is not a standard matrix in cloudwatch so we will create a custom matrix called swipe utilization and uh, these agents will constantly keep sending the data these these agents will keep sending the data to cloudwatch okay and we can create a custom matrix here called swap utilization matrix and it will get monitored so c is correct let's look at d see the difference between detail monitoring and basic monitoring see basic monitoring is enabled by default it gives the data every five minute period in detail monitoring it will give it every one minute period this is the level of data that it will be available and it is a chargeable service basic monitoring is free service in cloudwatch there are two types of metrics one is standard metrics the other is custom metrics for swap monitoring there is no standard metrics swap monitoring is a part of custom metrics you have to create this custom metrics detail monitoring will not send you uh, this custom metrics data this is a custom metrics it will not help you with monitoring this service you will have to put cloudwatch agents on the instances so d is wrong this is our final answer please subscribe to my channel focus on the concepts to guarantee pass the exam do visit this playlist which is still relevant it is on aws solution architect associate it is still relevant there are 100 questions and this brings us to the end of part 7 see you in the next part